Today I'm going to talk about the best medicine for ichthyosis vulgaris that cures the root cause and sets the patient free for life. We see ichthyosis, fish skin, a condition that patients have since childhood. Lot of irritation, tight, dry, itchy skin. Some have itching, some may not have itching. But this is a condition that is there since birth. And we see patients have used tons of moisturizers and expect that someday their skin will hydrate or these scales will go away. In this video, we're going to understand the analogy, a simple interesting knowledge of Ayurveda that Ayurveda has given us. When followed, we see lifelong cure, how the dryness goes away, how the marks, patches, pigmentation, scales, everything is gone right from the root cause. So let's understand in this video. Namaste everyone, welcome to Jovi's Hospital of Ayurveda and Aesthetic Center, Mumbai. We're talking about fish skin disease. We have a part one, we've explained in detail about the deep insights about this disease. In today's video, we're going to understand about the treatment part, about what Ayurveda says when it comes to these incurable conditions. We see patients across 50 plus countries, you know, when we consult them, when they happen to visit the Jovi's Hospital of Ayurved, when we talk to them, we see their pain, they are suffering, the parents are irritated, the children are in trouble, whether this will ever go or not, because they've taken all treatments, the laser, the uvulites, they've done different, different protocols, but nothing really gave them a sustainable change. We are understanding the science behind what Ayurveda has to say. So Ayurveda describes the skin condition which is called as Ekakushta, which today we correlate to the Ichthyosis vulgaris. So if we study about Ekakushta, we see that the Acharyas have explained this Ekakushta as Vat Kafaj Rog. Vat, which means dryness, and Kaf, which few may have a predominance of, which is the itching. We know Kafa Nasti Kandu, which means the Kandu, itching, is not possible without the cuff. Those who don't have itching, pure vat. But we see it is a vat cuffage condition, but vat predominance is always seen in ichthyosis. What is this vat? Vat is the air element. There is no dryness, internal, external, no dryness without the vat. We see dry skin, we see scales, we see flakes, we see tight skin. It is the lakshana of vat. That this vat, this air element, has been increased in the body. Dryness rukshada is a vat prakop lakshana. So, the stan of vat, the house of this air element, is the large intestine. I'm trying to explain you in very simple language to break it down so you understand it properly. So, the stan, the home of this vat, air element, lives in the large intestine. So, now you understand the entire work that we need to do is on this large intestine wherein we see its impact on the skin. So it doesn't really matter how much you hydrate the skin, but what matters is how much you provide nutrition or provide the oleation that the large intestine really requires. So for this oleation, for this hydration, for the right medicines to reach to the large intestine, there is a therapy called as oleation therapy, which means intake of certain medicines that oleates the body. Oleation therapy, sneha pan karma, sneha pan karma, there are four kinds of sneha that is explained, which is Taila, Vasa, Maja and Grita. Four kinds of internal sneha, out of which Grita is Uttam. After Grita is the Taila. Taila and Grita, ghee and oil, when we consume it in a proper amount, with proper herbs, we see outstanding results when it comes to oleation that is expected in the body. When done, we see the results. So, what is important over here is that this oleation has to be done. So, the best is Grita, next is Taylor. If I tell the patient you need to consume a medicated oil, the patient may not be comfortable because of the taste. But if I tell them you have to consume medicated Grita, it's fine. So, I'll be talking about this medicine which is a medicated Grita that will help one and all. This Grita is bitter in taste. It's available worldwide. You can choose any brand, any company. It doesn't really matter. It is effective. It is a classical Ayurvedic formulation. Its reference is given in Bhaishajya Ratnavali. Kushtadikar, 
slash you know the verse is 114 slash 117 this medicine is pancha tikta grita five bitter herbs this medicine is also available in capsule form for those who cannot take the bitter taste of this medicine both are effective of course comparatively the grita is more effective so pancha tikta grita five bitter herbs five bitter which are those it is the vasa guduchi kantakari nimbu and patol these are the five bitter herbs we see in this pancha tikta grita there is trifala which is amla ki harita ki vibhuta ki plus grita which is cow's ghee properly formulated properly made in the classical way this medicine is ready and it's available worldwide of course if it is prepared by an ayurvedic practitioner results are out of the way it is outstanding so pancha tikta grita a simple medicine in ayurveda simple and most basic we advise patient to consume this in the sneha kal in the early morning time between 5 to 7 am dose is 10 g to 20 g which is 2 to 4 teaspoon orally one can heat it through the double boiler system which is heated indirectly so the thick ghee melts and it is now a thin ghee look up put your tongue out pour the ghee into the you know throat without taking its taste pour entire part drink a glass or two of warm water you can put the khadi shakkar or sauf in your mouth if needed if you cannot take the taste take it over a period of time you see how the skin starts getting hydrated how the dryness reduces over a period of time this grita reaches to all the sukshma strotas to the sukshma particles in the entire body and it brings about all the doshas from the shaka back into the kosha from the body cavity back into the gastrointestinal tract so this is one of the medicine that has helped a lot of people a simple thing that one must follow although for severe cases we see panchakarma which is the virechana which is the medicated purgation to let these doshas collected in the kosha gastrointestinal tract to eliminate this out of the body we know that vat is having the predominance hence the best treatment for vat you already have been watching our videos you know about it this is basti which is medicated enemas certain oil enemas are given which reaches to all the parts of the body and hydrates the overall skin so no matter how much of problems are there externally it is always about the internal work that has to be done and which ayurveda focuses on there is a lot of you know different different kinds of interesting pointers that ayurveda has for example another one you know we see patients incurable again runny nose sneezing for years and years every day day in and day out we see if the medicines of diarrhea loose motions are given the loose motion of the nose stops so beautifully it is explained such proven factors that 20 years of citrizens montaclucas and 20 years of medicines but how through this anti diarrheal ayurvedic herbs we see the diarrhea of the nose stopping this was just an example but this is how ayurveda works the principles are beautiful this is it for today if you have any doubts any questions let us know in the comment section below until next time from jobies and the team look impressive be progressive